all the questions on your cfse okay so what is that crystal field splitting energy what are the questions which comes in your examination so we will solve and we will see how we can do we i have discussed all these uh, how to do and what are the factors everything in details in other in the other videos so let me see this question what will be the C cfse for your d6 high spin complex for both octahedral and tetrahedral complexes okay the options are given to be 6 0.6 and 0.6 that means you have to find the crystal field splitting energy okay uh, so 0.4 and 0.4 or you have c that is your 0.4 and 0.6 and you have d that is your 0.6 and your 0.4 so you have to find the answer this comes in your competitive examinations also it's very much uh, important also so how to do d6 d6 configuration means your what is if you draw the d orbital d6 means how many electrons means your one two three four five and your six electrons in the outermost shell or your d sub shell so we know that what happens is that in case of your this if we do for octahedral complexes hmm if we do for octahedral complexes then we know eg sets is the above set and your t2g set is the lower set because these phases very much low repulsion dxy dyz and the zx and this is your dxz square which faces most repulsion because ligand directly approaches approaches during this direction dx square minus y square okay so how many electrons are there d6 high spin see here high spin high spin means what is happening pairing is not taking place so we will fill one by one one two three four five and your six all right so this these this is your number of electrons out here so now we will uh, write your we will find the crystal field splitting so cfse your crystal field splitting energy of this d6 uh, d6 octahedral complex is how to find see how many electrons in t2g level that is how many four four into 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.4 delta uh, de delta naught okay plus you have how many electrons here in the eg level two two into how many that is 0. 0.6 delta naught why we know in this crystal field splitting what is the energy we have calculated this in our in other questions uh, in other videos i have done it is your 0. 0.6 okay splitting in delta naught that is your octahedral splitting and here it is 0 0.4 okay so we are doing so for fuza 16 that means 1.6 delta naught plus and this side is your minus okay because it is in the lower uh, field so it is face it does not face repulsion so it is minus 0 0.6 and here it is plus 0 0.6 so remember so it is minus 0 0.6 and here it is this is your 6 to the 12 so 1.2 delta naught and then it comes to be your 0 0.6 delta naught this is for your d6 octahedral so first they are saying here and now you have to find uh, for tetrahedral so what will we will do for d6 tetrahedral d6 tetrahedral this is your d6 octahedral all right so what happens here to d6 octahedral we know how many electrons here again there are again six electrons but in this case of t2 level t2g level it is how many here it is your t and here it is eg it comes here so it will be one two high spin so no pairing one two three four five then comes your six so cfse of this tetrahedral splitting will be how how much see here in in your uh, tetrahedral splitting this there is an energy difference it changes here it was plus 0 0.6 now it will be plus 0 0.4 out here and it will be minus 0 0.6 out here it is minus 0 0.6 so how many electrons three electron three into 0 0.6 that is minus 0 0.6 plus what is how many three electrons three into 0 0.4 so what is it six threes are 18 that means 1.8 delta naught minus plus 1.2 delta naught so how much it is minus 0 0.4 delta naught 
so here also it is minus 0 0.6 so the splitting energy of tetrahedral is your see here the question what it is asking it is asking first is your tetrahedral it is written first your tetrahedral and then octahedral so first your tetrahedral splitting we got 0 0.4 okay 0 0.4 and the splitting of uh, the octahedral is 0 0.6 so the answer will be number 6 okay so this way you have to solve the questions